gentlemen and ladies welcome back to a new video man today we're watching sensor bro i love this guy bro this guy used to be in face clan man so let's see what this video is about if you're brand new to the channel be sure you subscribe man and be sure you drop a like for a more amazing video like this bro bring a notebook to the gym and why are you wearing sunnies in the gym my god I like the music though the American flag these two doggies <laughs> It looks like Inspector Gadget, Inspector Sensor. Oh, it's got a yacht. Inspector Yacht. Ooh, wait, let me make a quick rap. Inspector Yacht driving his yacht on the sea, dropped his head. Detective Dog. <laughs> He lost his head in the sea. What are you smoking? The naughty pack. Wait, isn't that your million dollar Armani suit? Wait, who is this thought behind the camera, bro? I thought this girl just I thought this guy broke up with his girlfriend like he last year. He's got a new girl already. Let's have a look. Just buy another one. Whoa, nice yacht, Doug. Doug Sensor. Nah! It's probably like his sixth attempt, bro. He's saying 97. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, guys? Doug Sensor Martin here. Hope you guys are having a great day. And today, I bring you guys a brand new video giving you all the truth about Nadia. So, if you guys don't know who Nadia is, she's a 22 year old Warzone player. She streams every single day on Twitch TV. Uh, she specifically plays Rebirth Island, and she's been streaming for a little bit over a year, from what I understand, maybe a year and a half or so. And she just recently, over this past few months, has really escalated as one of the biggest, if not the biggest, female gaming warzone streamer on the platform i remember being back in los angeles with my boy t-dog uh, at the call of duty world championship and we woke up one morning like 9 30 a.m this is about one month ago and he goes hey you see this girl nadia a lot of people think she's cheating i'm like oh let me tune in and check her out i guess right so i go on my phone go to nadia and i'm watching her game for like five minutes I'm like nah i don't think she's cheating it's not sus but then the entire internet started losing their minds over nadia cheating and it's this rabbit hole that I've seen a lot in competitive Call of Duty. Being a part of the competitive Call of Duty community my entire life and actively competing and looking for a starting spot in the league and being on Boston's academy team, I see it a lot in challengers. There's a lot of players who always get accused every single day that we play. Not to mention, now that we're in the offseason and we're going into a new season next month and I'm playing Call of Duty Vanguard ranked every single day, I'm seeing a cheater in just about every lobby that I play. And sometimes I'll lose my mind. So I've been putting in about 8 to 10 hour days, 7 days a week. Wait, this is an eight to ten hour day, seven days a week playing like Call of Duty. Like my guy, eight hours to ten hours a day just playing video games. That's tough. To Vanguard rank, be the number one ranked player on the planet. And with that comes the sacrifice. And uh, sometimes, like I said, you lose your mind. Sometimes you play against cheaters, and <laughs> they really are inevitable. There's not really too much you can do about it. But then my buddy came up with a software, and he showed me how it worked, where he injected cheats into an account, and then he searched his name up on the software, and it showed up. But prior to injecting the cheats, he would search the name, and no name would show up at all. So what we decided to do was bring this program onto the flank and show people how this program worked. And then the next day, the cheating company issued a patch so that he couldn't get into the database anymore. So we jumped the gun a little bit, but he's confident that not only he can get back in and crack everything, but he wants to send his source code privately to CMG and Activision as well. Now, I personally, I connected into CMG. I don't know what they're doing now, but Activision has not replied to me. Activision, if you're watching this right now, please reply because I'd love to send this to you. Really, this all started as me just wanting to do the right thing and just find cheaters and catch them. And then all of a sudden, everyone just wanted me to make this about Nadia and everyone was trying to get me to expose Nadia and, and call her out for cheating and, and make sure that I could cancel Nadia because she's a cheater. Now, I have to admit, I've sat down at night when I'm about to go to bed and I pull up in my YouTube and the first thing I'm seeing in my recommended is Nadia cheating. 
I don't know who the star is, but let's have a listen. This is why in 4K. And I'll be like, really? This girl really got people hooked. So I'm clicking the video and I'm watching it. And they're slowing every day out in slow motion. They're showing our aim drags from one person to another. They're showing a bunch of these different clips of these characters moving like magnets and their aim snaps on them. And just being a guy who's been around competitive Call of Duty for as long as I have and seeing as many things that I've seen, this is no news to me. I've seen stuff like this so many times before. I mean, to start like, let me look a little bit more into Nod. Streaming even more than acting. So that's like where I'm now. I thought acting was my passion, but now it's really gaming. I do love acting, but gaming is where I'm at right now. So when she said this live, I was actually in my hot tub watching because I'm friends with Jake and I like him. He was talking about Nadia. I'm like, Jake Paul? What? Dude, this Nadia. Is... I've never seen this girl outside of her setup in her room where everyone's thinking that she's really sus with her cheats. So let me watch this interview. Let me see who this girl is and what she's all about. And when I saw that and I heard that, everything really started to click to me. I'm gonna tell you guys how I get bot lobbies. It's simple. I just hack into the Call of Duty servers. So there's a playlist that gets me only low KD lobbies. Here, let me show you. Oh wait, it says rebirth, QA bot. It says bot, maybe it's just bot lobbies. Let's go, we got a playlist, let's go. Dude, I knew it would finally, let's go, baby. Let's go, rebirth, QA. Bitch, you're that, bitch, you're that. Bye. Turn me up, chat. Turn me up. Turn me up. Oh my god, turn me up. Look, as a fellow Sharknado actor who has won multiple Oscars for all the Sharknado performances I've given over the years. What the hell is going on? Same shark, different day. I can clearly tell this is some bad acting, and not for nothing. This whole turn me up, turn me up. Can we please? I don't care who started this. I don't care. Can we leave this in 2022? Just somebody come up with something new and creative. Anything. Yes, sir. But the whole turn me up. Yeah. Not out there about you. Like, you could go down a rabbit hole just searching this girl's name, but there's one thing that really stands out. I, uh, I played Black Ops 1. Yeah. Black Ops 2. Yeah, you don't need to hug me, I get so it. So, Bro, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> Black Ops 1 is the Black Ops out of all the Black Ops. That's in my opinion, bro. I don't know. If you got a better opinion, leave it down in the comment section. Okay, so Nadia, check this out. I know you work out and you're in good shape. This is how you do the dolphin dive. Ow! All jokes aside. Nah, no, bro, you actually do the <laughs> This video is about showing the truth of Nadia, and somehow the internet over the last few days has really turned this and conforted this into me exposing Nadia for her cheats and having clear cut evidence of her cheats. So I do want to clarify this really quickly. My buddy made a program to catch Vanguard cheaters on the rank play system. I've made that very clear. I've also told Nadia publicly multiple times that I don't care about her. My video is going to be unbiased. I don't need her. I'm not looking for clout. I'm You're lying. You want to hit that, bro. I know this dude. Look at his face, bro. I know this guy. I'm not looking for money. Don't need any of that stuff. But there is one thing that I do need. Yes, you want to hit it. I know. Look at his eyes, bro. He wants to the more that I research into Nadia, the more you want to hit it, bro. I know it. It all just became clear. Oh, this is where he lost his head. <laughs> Bermuda Triangle. Bro, that's the most dangerous triangle. Rebirth Island. I'm a flame, you're a fire. I'm the dark in need of light. When we touch, you inspire. Feel the change in me tonight. <laughs> so take me up, take me higher. Why is he wearing a suit on a yacht? Oh my god. <laughs> There's a world not far from here. We can dance in desire. Oh, we can burn in love tonight. Nah, bro. I told you this guy want to hear, man. I know it, bro. I know it. Shit. All right, man. That's the end of the video, bro. I really hope you enjoyed it, man. If you're sure, be sure you subscribe down below and leave a like on this video, bro. Thank you all so much. Until the next video, peace.